From sun up to sun down, thousands of pink and grey galahs are making themselves comfortable. As it gets dry and drier in the area, you know, the township is that little oasis that they fly over and oh, here's a good place to camp. Driven by a lack of water, flocks have arrived in the last two months. They're hanging around town, lining trees and houses. They are so noisy and they wake us up. But Boulia's new feathered friends are becoming a nuisance, weighing down power cables, causing frequent outages. Um, issues is with our computer systems, um, you know, technology is, is paramount nowadays with our fridges and all that sort of air conditioners, so that would be causing fire in that area, so it was having a financial impact as well. To combat the new aerial residents, the energy company has installed spaces on power lines to stop them from touching, and the town has trimmed trees to remove perching points. Just getting around is a problem. I've got to walk from home over the pub between two neighbours and the trees have just stripped by them and I'm just waiting for them to poop on me. Locals may be forced to wait until the droughts end before their feathered friends seek new perching spots. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.